It just tells a story about these two guys uh, kind of at the beginning of uh, when they first meet and it takes uh, a series of like vignettes of both backstage and on stage and uh, in the dressing room and uh, it just through tells the story of their relationship and their clashes and uh, when they you know gel and when they uh, when they definitely are um, uh, not seeing the same thing at all and it just uh, kind of tells a story in little flashes uh, through the course of maybe like a couple of years of, uh, of their lives just because of their ages the changes that they both go through what's fascinating about it is so far day three is uh, uh, David Mamet has also been a part of the process which is normally in my experience not very common once the play's already been written so to have him be here and changing the script and adding things and making some cuts and and to have, be sitting at the table with him and Patrick and with Neil who I've known for a while and I've never had a chance to work with and I've always wanted to it's it's kind of mind-blowing. We read through a scene and we talk about it and it always leads to a story and another story and to be listening to them. It's just, and the names and the, and, and, and the stories that they're retelling. It's like an actor's candy store. I've got a lot to offer. <laughs> no, you shut up if you're me. If your name is TR, you shut up and you listen. Um, and uh, yeah. If, if you're smart, and most times I'm, I'm trying to be smart. I'm still kind of in awe of, you know, who I'm sitting at the table with, and very lucky to be here, and it's, it's, it's a great, it's a great feeling.